Hi, Dr. Ariane from The Movement Paradigm. Today I'm going to talk about 10 of my favorite biohacks that you should consider using for the new year 2023. If you've watched my videos, you know that these are some of my favorite things. But not only are they my favorites, these are things that are evidence-based. These are things that are proven over and over again to be so effective for your overall health, whether that's movement, that's mindset, that's nutrition. And really, we're all hopefully thinking about longevity. So yes, you may want to look better, feel better, but ultimately, you want to be able to do the things in your life that you want to do, right? So you don't want to be held back. And so therefore, we cannot take for our health for granted. And all of the things that I'm going to mention today are so easy to be able to integrate that there's really no excuse not to do them. I'm not asking you to spend hours a day working on mobility and meditating and all of these amazing things. I want you to just think about these little tiny things that you can easily integrate into your life. You can habit stack. So if you are already doing brushing your teeth in the morning, you can add a sad light, for example. So there's lots of late ways to really integrate these things and make huge improvements in your health. Number one is to track your heart rate variability. Essentially, this is your vagal tone. There are lots of different trackers. You can use Whoop. You can use the Aura Ring. You can use a Fitbit. You can use an Apple Watch. One of my favorites is you can use the app Elite HRV and use a chest monitor. So when you wake up in the morning, you can assess your heart rate variability, your resting heart rate, and assess your readiness for the day. This allows you to make very intentional changes in your life. So did I sleep well? Did I eat well? You can track your trends of your overall health and how it is affecting your resiliency day to day. And this is one of the best objective measures that we can use to assess vagal tone. So great way to track your overall health and be able to ultimately make changes accordingly. Number two, optimizing your sleep. So sleep should be a non-negotiable, but I'm going to give you my quick tips for optimizing your sleep. Number one, get blue light blockers. You want to wear them after 7 p.m. because realistically you're going to be using your phone, you're going to be using your TV, so get blue light blockers to eliminate the blue light at night that is ultimately stimulating the receptors in your eye to signal that it is morning. And number two, when you wake up in the morning, you either want to get 20 minutes of sunlight within the first 20 minutes, or if you can't do that and that's not realistic, get a sad light that has at least 10,000 lux and set it up as you're getting ready in the morning or brushing your teeth, whatever it might be. So you're getting that exposure if you are not getting sunlight because we want to optimize our natural cortisol peak in the morning and ultimately our melatonin production that night, right? So this is a really, really, really important for sleep optimization. And of course, there's many other sleep tips, but those are two quick ones. Number three is vagus nerve stimulation. You can look at all of my different videos. I have over 50 different vagus nerve exercises, but I will perhaps come back to my favorite, the one and only diaphragmatic breathing. When we are breathing diaphragmatic, we are stimulating the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve runs right through the diaphragm. We are releasing a, a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine, creating that relaxation response. Breathing, you can tap into anywhere, anytime. And for most people, it is a very effective tool in regulating your nervous system. However, please check out all my other videos on vagus nerve exercises because there are countless exercises that you can do that are super effective. Nonetheless, you want to think about how you can regulate your nervous system in the new year. Number four is lymphatic drainage. One of the easiest things you could do, you can do it in the shower. You can do it right after you get out of the shower. That's a great time to do it. It's such a gentle and quick technique. So we want to use a tapping technique. So if you're doing the body, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and you move throughout the body. So left side, right side above the collarbone. Yeah, left pec, right pec abdomen, inguinal area, inner thigh, behind the knee, and the ankles. And then ultimately you can move to the face, but that is a progression, but it's such an easy technique. You can check out my other limb videos for more specific details on how to do that. Number five is strength training. So this is something that I will say over and over and over again, how powerful strength training is. We want to think about how our muscle is influencing our longevity. So as we get older, we are losing muscle mass. 
balance that's called sarcopenia. So strength training and pro and optimal protein intake are really what are going to allow us to maintain that muscle mass, optimize bone density, again, be able to generate force and adapt to life's demands without injury. So it is one of the most important things that I suggest and you want to get, of course, into a safe program that you are really working on mobility, strength, stability, all wrapped up in one. So it doesn't take a lot of extra time. Number six, which always gets overlooked, is walking. It is one of the best forms of exercise that we could do. It is a low intensity exercise that is great for fat loss. It's great for aerobic capacity. It is great for emotional uh, regulation because it's rhythmical. It's what we're designed to do from a movement perspective. So thinking of having a movement mindset, figure out how many steps you're taking a day right now, get your baseline and try to really continue to, to work towards getting that eight to 10,000 steps a day. It's probably not what you're getting right now on average. So for most people, so it's really important to just think about where you are and having that movement mindset. So if you're working out of the gym in between sets, take a few laps. If you are parking in a you know, go to the grocery store, park farther away. Lots of ways to increase your steps, increase your movement, your overall activity, stimulate your fascial tissue. So many amazing things about walking. And again, it's always overlooked and it is one of the most beneficial things you can do for your body. Number seven is X-Lear. This is one of the best things that you can have in your toolbox. So especially if you've suffered from more immune issues this year, post-COVID, post-pandemic, post-vaccine, if you're getting congestion, this is such a great preventative and treatment that you could use. So Exlear, what I recommend is the daily rinse, which you would do twice a day daily. <laughs> and then if you are exposed to someone that's sick, if you're in big, larger crowds, if there's some for a particular reason why you may need a little bit more of a boost, you're at an airplane or you, or you get sick, then you wanna use the Rescue, which is has xylitol in it, oregano in it, so it helps to kill bacteria. Because think of the way that we're protecting this through our nasal cavity. So we wanna make sure we can nasal breathe versus mouth breathe, so really important. Along with that, I recommend Mutes. They are uh, fantastic for opening the airway. They can open the airway up to 30% to improve more nasal breathing, which of course we know is so important for everything in your body, your core function, as well as your nervous system, your sleep. So being able to open up your airway just a little bit makes a huge, huge difference. So you can get a trial pack to see what size you have, you need, and then you can go from there. Number eight is going to be Naboso. So Naboso is a specific technology designed to stimulate the small nerves in your hands and feet. It helps to improve balance and gait and movement efficiency. It is a sensory stimulus and we need sensory information to create optimal movement. So these are fantastic you can use the ball, you can use splay, you can use recovery socks, you can use the mats, the standing mats, the training mats, so many different things. I highly recommend this. I'm a huge fan of Nebosa technology. So please make sure you incorporate this into your life so that you have better movement, better gait, better walking, etc. Number nine is protein. So once again, I talk about this all the time, but it is so important to have the optimal amount of protein per day to increase muscle mass, to prevent sarcopenia, to help with bone density, to help with lean body composition, right? We want lean muscle versus increased fat tissue because fat tissue is actually inflammatory. Every patient I've ever worked with is under eating protein. We want to think about getting that protein from animal sources, which have all of the amino acids and in the appropriate levels. And to calculate your protein goal, on your own, you would use your ideal body weight. So your ideal body weight is going to be for females, 100 pounds for the first five feet and five pounds per every inch after that. So if you were 5'3", it would be 115 pounds. For men, it's 106 pounds for the first five feet and six pounds per inch after that. So if you were 5'10", as a male, you would, your ideal body weight would be 166. Now, I don't use ideal body weight calculation for most people unless it's obesity, but to determine your protein goal, that is a great number to go 
still by. You can also go by lean body mass if someone is already more muscular. This is going to vary among people depending on their goals and their activity, but this is a really good base for you to get started. And number 10, last but not least, I love First Form's Microfactor. So most often, of course, people need supplementation because we're not getting the nutrients from our food as we once did. Most people aren't consuming all the nutrients they need on a regular basis. So Microfactor has been awesome for me and for my patients. Essentially, it has a multivitamin, it has an antioxidant, a CoQ10, fruits and vegetables, essential fatty acids, and probiotic, and it comes in this handy little packet. So it makes it really easy to travel, to be able to grab everything you need without having tons of bottles of supplements. So this can be a great addition to your routine if this is appropriate. Sometimes I have people take the probiotic out if they're having certain gut issues and they might have to use it a specific probiotic stream. But overall, if you're just looking for general wellness and health, this is a great pick. You can check out my link in the bio. So overall, I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope you found at least one tip that you can apply in the new year. And if so, please give this a like, give it a share, and of course, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm, for weekly tips on mindset, nutrition, and movement. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next year.